Signs of Portugal's long trading history are clear to see on the banks of Porto's Douro River. Despite the scars of the recent financial crisis, business in Portugal is once again starting to flow. One of the key reasons for that is due to closer trading ties with China. And politicians here are keen to boost that relationship further. We have important investments in, uh, of uh, Chinese firms uh, uh, in the energy sector and several other sectors. There's been a huge interest from Chinese companies, but also in trade. Uh, we import uh, uh, a lot of products from China. We already export important products uh, from China, from wine to motor vehicles and uh, several other areas. And we want to, to uh, increase these uh, exchanges. Trade between Portugal and China has boomed. In recent years, only the UK, France and Germany have received more Chinese investments in the Eurozone. And part of the reason behind that is the access to two separate markets here. In Portugal, of course, not only is um, a European country a member of the single market and the Euro, uh, and, uh, the Euro uh, but also uh, has... Uh, to offer an added value, uh, which is the, its close ties with the Portuguese-speaking countries. Chinese companies, as you can already see from the first big investments that started in 2011, they are already taking advantage of those positions. One of the Portuguese companies making the most of the improved trade links with China is Santos & Santos. When the financial crisis hit, this family-run wine estate focused on new overseas markets. Now 20% of their sales revenue comes from China. I think that Portuguese is very aware of the importance of China market. So I think that all of us, not only our company, as other companies, have that vision. So it's, not, uh, it's very present in our minds that China is indeed a very big and good opportunity that we must not miss. Latest figures indicate that trade between China and Portugal jumped a further 20% in the first six months of the year. Many here are confident that trend will continue. Uh, what I notice is the, that China, the, you know, that is uh, like a circle. Uh, the, in the beginning, the circle is very small, and now the circle is enlarging. At the beginning, it were mostly the state-owned companies who came to Portugal, the big ones. Then the privates come. Uh, so, in a way, uh, it's um, fresh air who comes to Portugal. Portugal still has many financial challenges ahead, but the country is working hard to find solutions. Dan Williams, CCTV, Porto.